going on YouTube uh, Chevy Silverado 15 6.2 just did the AFM delete uh, 378 miles since the delete and I used a BTR stock grind camshaft and man this thing runs good it has never run as good as it's running now um, everything's fine so far uh, I thought I had broke the heater core but it's holding so far so good um, 378 miles and I'm gonna show you guys what my catch can has caught I don't know let me get out here in the Sun maybe y'all can see better right there that's how much the catch cans caught and 378 miles it was uh, it was clean you know when I put it in there so that would have went through the intake system. So this little catch can's working. I got it on eBay. I think it was about 35 bucks, something like that. But it seems to be doing the trick. I uh, still need to replace that red hose with some better hose, but um, it's working right now. So it's not sucking it together or anything. So it seems to be uh, doing the trick. Uh, but it's running good. I don't know what my mileage is. I've been doing a lot of in-town driving and uh, Let's see if we can find it real quick. See what the average is um, I know on the highway damn it I'm gonna find out where that thing is and it's coming out um, There it is average 17 uh, let's go down to the to do right there average 15.7 best 19.8 like I say I've been doing a lot of in-town uh, around here driving starting and stopping and stuff um, on the uh, on the highway I've got up to 22 on a flat you know how these things work when you get on a flat and you're not pulling it goes up pretty good um, but I'll take it. I mean, it runs so much better than it did. This thing is smooth as glass now, and it's got power. As soon as you hit the throttle, it goes. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty strong truck, man. I like this 6.2. You know, I pull a mortar mixer and mortar boards and scaffold and scaffold boards and uh, towed a 28-foot uh, office trailer uh, 40 miles in this thing. I couldn't even tell it was there. It's got the tow package on it, and uh, but it's doing great. And I just want to show y'all my catch can right there. Got the old vet going. Uh, did an oil change on the vet. Uh, it was about time. Uh, it's doing great, no problems. Uh, I really, you know, if I had the the time and money, I would tear it apart, you know, and do a nut and bolt restoration. But you know, this is a driver grade car. Uh, it's what it's going to be. I'm going to enjoy it, you know, and I drive it quite a bit. Uh, I think I've put around 7,000 miles on it since I got it on the road, and it runs. This thing will scream, man. I mean, it, it's no quarter-mile car, you know, real quick like that, but, um, you know, it'll run 180 miles an hour from here to California and back. So that's what's cool about this car. Holds those uh, set seven world records when uh, when they ran this car at Fort Stockton, Texas, and it still holds a 24-hour world top speed endurance record at 174 point some some something miles an hour, uh, 24 hours straight. And while they were doing that, they decided they were going to go for the 5,000-mile uh, record, which they did, and they got it. Took them almost 30 hours of this car running wide open on a seven mile track. So this car is not built for sprints. It's built for setting your cruise in 175 and, you know, listening to your radio. Pretty cool old car though, man. I, I enjoy it. Uh, a lot of people talk trash about C4s, you know, this, that, and the other. Well, setting those world records is not only a testament to this LT5 engine and this ZF transmission, it's a testament to this car, this whole car. You know, the, these are very well engineered cars. And I'm telling you what, man, stuff's tight. When you work on these things, stuff is tight, you know, but it's doable. But uh, anyway, I really need to take the plenum off 
and take my injector housings out and uh, do some work under there, gaskets and such like that. I got a little bit of an oil leak down there. And, uh, but, you know, the car's 30, 33 years old. So, you know, it's uh, it's due for, you know, some, some stuff like that. But uh, I still drive it, drive it every chance I get. You know, it's a good old car. Anyhow, I just want to show you all that catch can and uh show you how much crap it's caught since uh since i got her going and uh working on the pontiac a little bit today too had to put plugs in it it was had a little backfire to it and at 850 holly is hp series it never has been exactly perfect i've been through it a couple times but i don't know it's it's something's wrong with it it's not perfect it's uh a little rich so it burns out spark plugs but boy it runs good it's sounding good too anyhow all right